Hey guys, welcome back to another Unity video. This one's about water and I finally figured it out after a year of trying this asset, trying that asset, um, just everything. And I kept coming back to the Silent Clearwater 2 water shader. Same one they use in Two Brothers, Test Pilots. And I figured it out after a year of uh, how to set it up correctly so Quest users can see it. PC and Quest water compatible. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to show you guys how to set up the silent Clearwater 2 shade, water shader so Quest users can see it in your world. And it's a beautiful water asset. So let's get started. Alright, so what we're going to do is go to your internet browser and you're going to type in Silent Clearwater. It's going to be the first one on the list at GitLab. Come to this page. You're going to go over here and download these. Download the source code zip file. Choose open. You're going to open the, that one and you can read this readme file. Go ahead and read that before we do the, anything else. You're going to download the repository, which we downloaded, and place the shader folder with the shader into your assets directory. That's your assets directory of your project that we have open in Unity. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this shader file. Then you're going to go back to your project, and mine's called Western. It's making a Western landscape. So uh, you'll click on the main root file, which has all your assets in it. Have that selected, okay? Then you're going to click on Assets, and while that's open, you're going to click Paste. It's going to put a shader folder in your assets project okay so we can close that out and if you look down here it has been added this is the shader the silent clear water 2 double click on that this will this is your material right here and these are your scripts for your shader okay so let's go ahead and create a plane and we're going to make it pretty big so it's going to cover a wide area all right that's good for now then we are going to attach the cw2 Silent Clearwater to normal material. The other one here is a refractive. You don't want that. You want the Silent Clearwater to normal, CW2 example. Okay, so you're going to select your plane, put the material on it. Now you're going to go down here in your shader. Very important. You're going to select silent, clear water to opaque. This is going to allow it to show up for Quest users. Silent, clear water to opaque. Okay, we're going to zoom in here. I mean, lower this down just a little bit so you can see the uh, tiling nice little waves and you can adjust this uh, this is totally adjustable <clears throat> if you go down here uh, you can change the smoothness you want the smoothness to be all the way up though. That's the best looking one. Uh, down here you can change the wave strength, make it faster, or just 
right there calmly. Uh, adjust the scroll on this wave. Same thing with this wave here. You can adjust however you want it to look. And we're going to make it, yeah, there we go. So you can see it's really pretty. This is really pretty water. And you can adjust the color if you want. Um, you can adjust the color of the water, make it darker. And we'll just leave it right about there. Okay. <clears throat> Down here you want to enable GPU instancing. And that will uh, help the players uh, on the frame rate. Any, any, uh, any texture you want to do that. Um, and then we've got, see, we've got the water here. So now what we want to do is we want to expand it to these hills and everything. So we're going to have to increase this a whole lot. All right. So now we've got some islands over here. Uh, we can bring that down. Make like a little river. Alright, so we're down here by the river. I just maneuvered myself down here so you can see what the water looked like. Um, go ahead and click on your water plane. You can rename it to uh, water plane. And make sure the layer is set to water. Okay, so if you have any boats you want to put in later, they're going to look for that layer, that water layer. Alright, so refresher. CW2 example is what you want on your plane. If you want the mesh collider, so you want to walk on the water, that's fine. If not, uncheck it. Then you will fall through the water. Also, if you want to create water underneath, then go ahead, click on your water plane, duplicate, and you're going to flip this duplicate One hundred and eighty degrees. So we're going to go one eighty. All right. All right. Now that we have our water plane, uh, the reverse side is flipped over one eighty degrees. We're going to go ahead and go into our water again. And on top. And underneath. So you've got water underneath instead of air. And that's it, guys. Uh, this water will definitely show up for Quest users in VR chat. I've tested it. I've tested it with Quest users, and it will show up. So the best PC in Quest water shader out there is Silent Clear Water 2. All right, guys. See you on the next video. I hope this uh, helped a lot of people out there because I was scratching my head looking through YouTube videos and everything else over the past year. And finally, yes, I can do more Water Worlds for the Quest users. All right, have a good one. Take care.